The prosecution team have spoken out and have put out a lengthy statement in prep for the bail hearing that is going to take place today at 2 p.m. New York time. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali, daily and consistent content. Let's get straight into this video where the prosecution team have explained the differences between Abercrombie & Fitch executive Michael Jeffries, who's out on a 10 million bond, and also on Diddy and why, you know, they need to explain this, which is what the judge, you know, requested them to do. And they're definitely on time with that. <clears throat> The defense argues in its renewal bail motion that Combs is similarly situated to Jeffries and should similarly be released. But beyond superficial um, similarities, the high profile positions of the defendants and charges. The cases are materially different as the, to multiple factors the court must consider under the Bail Reform Act. First, the nature and circumstances of the offenses are substantially different, whilst the Jeffries case alleged the use of force, fraud and coercion to engage men in non-consensual stuff. There are no allegations that Jeffrey committed non-trafficking related violent acts or that he used firearms during the charge period. The indictment against Combs alleges both. With respect to the charge defences, Jeffrey does not include a racketeering offence and by contrast, Combs is charged with leading a racketeering enterprise that engaged in a persistent pattern of racketeering activity from 2008 through 2024. That included repeated acts of violence by Combs and his co-conspirators, including multiple acts involving kidnapping, arson, forced labour. Further, as detailed in the indictment, Combs protected and promoted his role in the enterprise through violence, use of firearms, threats, coercion and verbal, emotional, physical and essay. As recently as as recently, sorry, as March 2024, firearms and ammunition including three AR-15s with defaced serial numbers were recovered from Combs' residences. Second, not just second, the defendant's criminal conduct including acts of obstruction has persisted through the present, whilst Jeffries allegedly also engaged in efforts to conceal criminal activity including through the use of surveillance and threats of litigation to ensure victim silence that alleged conducted ended in 2015. Here however Diddy continued until 2024 and even since being charged Combs has continued his obstructive conduct including by repeatedly flouting the orders of the court we all know with the BOP um, you know regulations and etc that have been recently mentioned. Third, the history and characteristic of the two defendants are significantly different. Jeffries is 80 with no criminal history. Combs is two decades younger. Further, he has been arrested and investigated multiple times for crimes of violence and obstruction and as described above has repeatedly violated the BOP. In sum, Jeffries is materially different from the instant matter. For the reasons stated above and in the government's motion, the defendant's renewed motion for bail should be absolutely categorically denied. So these are the three main differences. You know, the main one for me is for the fact that Diddy was leading racketeering charges. Whereas Jeffrey's not even involved in that. This is not a race issue, in my opinion, absolutely. Whilst, you know, race elements definitely are present with judiciary motions, I definitely don't think it applies here. We're looking at two different completely people who have similar stuff, but the majority of the charges are very different, racketeering being one of them. They're not even going in on the fact that Diddy has been intimidating witnesses as much. They also said that he's doing it for much longer than 2015 he continued for further extra 10 years and that he was trying to do stuff in the jail but also the fact that he was leading these racketeering organizations and that in itself is a huge deal for why he should be denied bail so this is what they've released as of 10 minutes ago this is in preparation for tonight well tonight for me in london but from the uk in the afternoon of course they're prepping early because that's what the judge has asked them to do to prep for the hearing but they've already prepped they've already written everything and they're already submitting it earlier on before the bail hearings even started it's giving we're ready are you it's you're not that's what is really giving and so the prosecution are locked and loaded it's going to be very anticipated we don't know which way this could go I'm leaning towards Diddy's going to be denied bail for the third time and therefore that's it. I don't think he's even going to be able to reapply again for another bail hearing. This is enough. But prosecution clearly are ready. Now, a 200-page lawsuit. A 200-page lawsuit is the extortion lawsuit. And I want to go back to this because people are discussing it again that, you know, has hit Busby, this infamous celebrity high profile in LA that we don't know who this person is. And of course, if you look through some of the stuff, it's being stated that this man has had damage to his businesses because of the mentioning of the fact that there's an affiliation with Diddy and also for the fact that, you know, he went to a few parties, but not many. So initially, I did think that this profile could be someone like Jay-Z, but the fact that, you know, it's mentioned that he went early when to a few i don't think it is jay-z because jay-z went multiple times was there they even held parties together for goodness sake like it, they jay-z and diddy held parties together 
Like, that in itself is insane. So for the fact that Jay-Z is not even getting questioned left, right, and center right now is crazy. I don't even know how he's not getting questioned that much. I honestly don't get it. I don't understand. He should be up there far more. I feel like J-Lo is getting more articles on her than Jay-Z. When Jay-Z and Diddy were holding all of these parties together on your annual basis for so many years. So I don't understand that. Sorry, I want to just park that in the corner. I don't think it is Jay-Z. Is a conversation about it being Kevin Hart and how, you know, his businesses were affected. He did actually have to close restaurants down. I believe he's also based around that area. You know, he is based, if I'm correct, also in um, LA. So people are looking at him. It is a 200 pay lawsuit. It is very, you know, long. Um, and, you know, Busby basically is responding to it, also saying that the name of that person will be revealed, that he will do that. But I feel like Busby is waiting for a payout before he goes down that route. That's obviously why he's not listing any of these names that he's not naming any of them naming any of these celebrities because of the payout and the money first and foremost that he wants to collect before he does stuff like that and i can't blame him for doing that but he did say today that he will be naming that person in that celebrity lawsuit very soon and that he's clearly not afraid of any of these people i do feel like pressure is mounting on busby as time goes on there's been way too many lawsuits on this man now suddenly coming out of nowhere the numbers he might you know upset the high executives that control these people and therefore it might not look good for him and his firm it might even be dissolved at one point which is what they want to do that's their aim and intention to dissolve busby's firm i don't think that's going to happen but you know when the executives want something they're going to go for it do you understand the other um, conversation is Clive, but I don't think it was Clive because I don't think his businesses were impacted by Diddy. I feel like Kevin Hart's businesses definitely were. But if there's anybody else that comes to mind that you think who this person is, unfortunately, we're not at a position where a trial is going on. So we're going to have to keep playing the guessing game. People and these lawyers are not going to reveal names because they want the money. So prosecution are ready for tonight's hearing. Um, I keep saying tonight. But, you know, it's in the afternoon uh, for you guys over in America or in New York. And so, you know, what I would give, guys, to be at that bail hearing, what I would give to be inside that bail hearing, just to see what's going on, to be a court reporter and find out what's happening, what did he looks like, you know, is he going to come unshackled this time or shackled the court sketches? Is his bail going to be denied? I don't even... Obviously, I feel like his bail is going to be denied. But if his bail is accepted... Wow. If his bail is accepted and he's allowed to go and be released, that will, that will be insane. But I don't think that, I don't think it's going to happen. I feel like his bail is going to be denied. I feel like there's a lot of anticipation. A lot of people are nervous. You know, they don't know which way this is going to go, but I definitely feel like this man is going to remain in jail until his trial and then people will be subpoenaed, celebrities will be subpoenaed, and then the trials will begin. So let me know your thoughts are with the prosecution. They've come out with a fully strong fledged fully fledged strong letter and you know they made it very clear as to why mike um basically is not involved in this he's probably at home thinking why am i getting dragged into this i'm already dealing with one case i don't need to be dragged into that he is much more older i don't think age really is the issue it's more so the charges and people keep comparing it as a race issue it's not it's the charges guys you're comparing somebody mike jeffries where there were three other people also in lead it wasn't just him doing all of this stuff but diddy was the main person racketeering charge in lead he's got more charges like it's just very obvious and you can see it right there and there um there's not one track history of proof of mike jeffries intimidating any witnesses whereas diddy's been doing that continuously even so in the prisons like if they need a fair trial they need to keep him in the prison that's what he's fighting for himself he wants a fair trial so you should stay your ass in prison let me know your thoughts are guys when it comes to this subscribe comment down below give this video a thumbs up i am wearing a nice um this is what i'm going to be wearing guys to the bail hearing i've got this nice particular top it is long sleeve as well and um yeah i'll be at the bail hearing let me know what you guys are wearing to the bail hearing as well we're all going to be posted up today to find out what is going on and um hopefully it's going to be a function and hopefully he gets denied comment down below give this video a thumbs up and i'll catch you guys soon for another video the way it's sunset at 4 p.m right now in london this is not for me i need to leave